Hello and welcome to yet another recreation of the OpenMW install video. Honestly, I felt that my last video was still a little bit unclear in spots, so hopefully this video will be my last perfect attempt at nailing this install process for you guys. As always, this guide is specifically designed for Windows, and there will be timestamps in the description to jump around as needed. Without further ado, let's get into it. The first step is to completely uninstall Morrowind and then reinstall it. Once you've reinstalled it, run the game at least once so that it generates all the necessary configuration files. This is optional, but it will give us a clean slate to go ahead and install the game on top of. After you've uninstalled, reinstalled, next go to the OpenMW website, click Downloads, and click the Download from GitHub link at the top. 0.47.0 is the newest release of OpenMW at the time of this recording, although this, uh, this project is constantly being developed and updated over time, so that could change by the time you watch this. This is a Windows guide, so I'm going to download the Win64, but if you're on Linux, choose the Linux 64-bit, or if you're on Mac, choose the DMG file. I'm going to open my file, I'm going to click Next, and I'm going to click I agree. I'm going to leave the destination as the default folder, but if you want to install it to a different folder on your hard drive, you could choose the folder here, click Next, and I'm going to click install. I'm going to leave this checked and hit finish. And now we're at the OpenMW launcher. Next, we need to register the actual Morrowind data files with OpenMW. So I'm going to click settings and run the installation wizard. I'm going to choose next and choose use existing installation and next. It will auto detect your install, but if in case it doesn't for whatever reason, all you need to do is point this to the data files folder for your Morrowind installation. Um, so the default is the Steam, Steam apps, common, Morrowind data files if you've installed through Steam. You'd, regardless, you just need to make sure that you point it to the data files folder, which is the folder that has the morrowind.esm file, which is the one you need. So since it auto detected my install, I'm going to click this and click next. I'm going to choose my language. I'm using English. I'm going to click next. Leave these settings as default. Click next and click finish. One last thing to check. Just make sure Tribunal is loading over Blood Moon. For some reason there can be some compatibility issues if Blood Moon is loading first. But other than that you should be all set to play Vanilla Morrowind. As you can see the install process is still pretty straightforward. Nothing's changed much. Again though, I just wanted to redo this as there were a few spots in my last video that were a little bit unclear and I saw a lot of confusion in the comments. Uh, I also want to try and put more effort into this channel moving forward, so expect another video going over mod installation soon, and some other OpenMW content if I feel the need to record it. Uh, hopefully I can live up to that, my schedule is crazy busy, but I want to try and get back into this. Thanks for all the support in the comments, and I, I can't wait to get back into making some more content.